Yeah, so if you just bring your foot up, yeah, and bring it down. You okay there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. James Earl showed me a technique yeah, where you bring in this sort of area either side of the Achilles. Yeah, so you're going to come down onto that. Sometimes I help in this case. Watch with the way I use my leg. So she's going to do that movement. Yeah. So if I lock into that area, I slowly bring your, your foot in that position. And I'm going to work up. You okay? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I use my legs here just to passively lengthen through that. And I might say to my patient, push into my leg, push down. So you're activating the calf, Achilles tendon for 10 seconds. And resist, relax, breathe. And as you breathe in and breathe out, bring your foot up. And you can work in through that. Okay. You can change it the reinforced finger, which I quite like, yeah? So I can lock in there. And then when you're ready, slowly bring your, your foot up. So I can work in through. You okay with Okay, so obviously that's a bit more specified, a little tender. Yeah. Off you go again. But the key is the movement. Alright, so the key is the movement on the tendon in itself. Yeah, you can come onto it, I can use, use my thumbs in this case, off you go. Okay, I can work through. Even if you can even use like a grip, like a vice grip, onto the tendon there. Yeah, as long as I'm pretty strong with fingertips, so you can almost like grip. And now when you're ready, so I can glide up through. And he's off. And again, you know, if it is pretty inflamed, you're obviously going to potentially make it a bit worse, short term. Whereas if it's chronic, you're probably going to make it a lot better quite soon. There you go. Okay, continue the theme into the, the movement here. Yeah. And then from there, there's going to be a bit of pressure here, okay? So bring your feet up. That's it. Working up. All right, so you've got the muscle tendon junction. Yeah, which, what's the triceps, you're right? Gastroc's nice. The gastroc and the stylus, yeah. So the tricep being free, sewer as a leg. Yeah. So any sort of condition posterior can probably help. Yeah. So condition affects people around this area between 12 and 14, give or take. Severs is easier. Yeah? Good, named after. <laughs> Wait for a question, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? Patrick's. My physio? What was that? Patrick's. Oh, Patrick. <laughs> Patrick's. Maybe Patrick's favour. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. James Sever. An American. And we know where this prank is? Do you know the Liz Frank? The Liz Frank joints on the foot. <coughs> so between the tarsal and metatarsals. Yeah? Do you know why it's called that or not? Surgeon. Yeah. French surgeon. Do you know where else you know? Um, no. That's right. Do you know his name? <laughs> 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 He's a French surgeon and a gynecologist. Fourteen dollars. Jackie, Liz Frank, D. Saint Martin. Beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> and then the polyonic wall. Dislocation, dislocation, yeah. <coughs> and I actually came about where he was in the uh, Napoleonic War and then a guy fell off his horse, damaged his foot and he was having gangrene so they amputated the joints of Liz Frank. Yeah, around there, hence the name, Liz Frank joints. Bring your foot up and down. And again. So we can work through. If you want to do a peroneal, also you can just literally drift the leg to the side. Yeah? Okay, just to bend that leg a little bit. And then from there, so we just pull your foot up. So what tendon attaches there, fifth mint? The base? Yeah, so the brevis. Yeah, so the brevis comes around. And then the longest will come around there. Yeah, relax. What's the other peroneal we've got? Here it is. Yeah. So what does that one do? That's different. Here it is. Yeah. 
So if you just start there, so it dorsiflexes, whereas the other two will plantar flex, yeah. But um, if you're looking at the studies of that one, most of the time, peroneal tertius is um, a continuation of the extensor digitorum longus. And he's off. And again, you okay, lad? Sometimes as you come towards the head in a fibula, it could be a little uncomfortable because of the problem on Okay, so you can just adapt the techniques just by change of position. Happy with that?